This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a really interesting Soviet-era combination lock, probably from the 1970s or early 80s. I previously featured a similar lock in video number 485, but that lock was considerably newer. In fact, it was made after the collapse of the Soviet Union. I know that because there is no price stamped into it. If we look at the back of this older lock, we can see that it had a government set price of 1 ruble 50 kopeck. We can also see that the design was cheapened up considerably over the years, with these nice brass knobs being replaced with plastic. In addition, we can see that the combination tag that was included from the factory went from a thick brass washer to a foil thin piece of metal. But what did not change over the years was the ease with which these can be decoded. All we have to do is look for a loose spot in the travel of the knobs. So let's scramble these wheels. I'm going to turn this upside down so I can't see the, the numbers while I'm decoding it. And let's see what I can do. Okay. Okay, I found one loose spot. This one isn't binding. Okay, another loose spot. And each time I go around, I refine the location of that loose spot just a little bit. Okay, all of them are really close now. I'm just in the process of refining where it is. And this would actually be a lot easier if I was looking at the front. We might be close. Yep, there we go, it's open. The combination is 6256. And let's look at this, 6256. So, not too hard to decode, but even so, an interesting old lock. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.